Hello buddy and welcome back for a new video. This right here is the 60 auto nuke and for this here we okay it didn't nuke. Uh okay. That was a little bit weird. I didn't do it at the first one. I don't know why I didn't do it at the first one. I'm sorry, I don't know. Anyways, this right here is the 60 nuke, it's using two side comps, both uh, one push, both one tick, and it goes to walls every 4 seconds, uh, from Y64 to 60, no, down to zero, basically, yeah, down to zero. Right now it doesn't look like a, mo uh, look like a, like a lot, because right now I don't have any grass or something, uh, but it is, it is actually, 60 blocks is kind of a lot. Um, as you see, it's every 4 seconds and so. Uh, it doesn't do it all the way down on some sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't uh, it's a little bit weird uh, but ma ba mainly this right here and now it doesn't do it we out of red sand we out of something we out of red sand that's why uh, but mainly it should be working just fine i have done some tests on it and it looks like it's working perfectly right now it should be nuking yeah it is it's just because we forgot about the red sand uh, of course, that's gonna make it fuck up, but all, all in all, guys, this cannon here is a beast. It should be, it should be nuking every single time, unless you forget either the red sand or the sand, of course, then it's gonna fuck up a little bit. Other than that, it should be going all the way, as you see right here, it's nuking, um, and I could probably make some more walls somewhere, it will still be nuking. It's around 20 chunks, 25 chunks. Um, and it's very easy to modify this cannon here. It is very easy to add sand to this cannon here. With schematic, you'll be able to make it a fully auto. Uh, but all in all, guys, like this cannon here is definitely on the better side of what I've done. Um, I'm pretty sure the other nuke we had, or other nuke I made, was not even reusable. This cannon here is both all automatic, I mean you can put a clock on it, and it is also very easy to modify, because I added this repeater right here, as you see. This repeater right here allows you to shoot quite far without changing any of the order, any of, the order of entity text, which can fuck up, especially with my old design, you were not able to do this, which is why so many people had trouble with it. And of course, it, it was only tested at very short range, and it was just really a mess. So it, it's something I had to redo, and I did. This right here can one-shot nuke around 20 chunks before you have to change any set settings on it whatsoever. Um, so that's that's absolutely absolutely a beast cannon right here. And of course, I'm going up with a collection of these from 60 to 255 if I have the time for it here in the Christmas. I know that you guys want me to do the adjustable barrels on the honest way, guys. I haven't had much time to work on it uh, since it's Christmas and all that, so I thought that releasing something I already had in my scam folder was, was ideal, since I don't really have too much time right now. I will get time. I will get around the adjustable barrels. I'm pretty sure I've released the test version. You guys told me what to do with it, and I'm working on it. I'm working on it, don't worry. Um, the six stacker here has a long time uh, before the second hammer goes in because we're using this uh, sand compression right here. I just think that at least the 60 and the 80 should not have that TNT down there, and that's what I did. After the 80, then it's only like two repeaters right here, which is going to make it incredible fast. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's not much more into this video here. There's always going to be a video at the end of this collection to kind of explain the most ideal things like uh, how to reverse scatter, how to water the cannon, how to change hammer ticks, and how. How to reverse scatter, I'm pretty sure it's other ones, but yeah, you get the duel. Uh, but that that is basically it about this cannon here. I do want to say, if you want to disable the sand for some reason, you go ahead and do it right there. That's still going to be 12 sand. If you wanted to disable that, you have to do that right here and stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure all that is explained in the video as well. Now, that was just about it. This was the 60 stacker auto nuke. Hope you guys will enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video here and I hope you guys will enjoy the cannon. Um, if you like the video, of course like the video, comment down below for any questions, issues you might have with this kind of whatsoever. And as always guys, remember to subscribe to my channel. My name is Dexter, and I'm out. Right, so if you want to straight shoot without nuking, all you have to do is take that one off right there, take this one over here, and this one over here. And, and after you've done that, then you will be able to shoot, you will be able to stack, but there will not be any scatter on it, meaning it will not create a hole. Uh, so, of course, if you want to fix that, go ahead and add a little scatter here. 
Uh, it could be any scatter, to be honest. Uh, you can have like a small scatter if I got a big scatter. Uh, in this case here, I'm just going to do a small scatter. Uh, so something like that right there. Now we know that that's right there. Oops. There we go. And then just add... Of course, you can you can choose to make a bigger scatter with comparators and stuff like that. It's really up to you. Uh, but I'm just going to take that into that one. There we go. Make sure we have redstone into it. There we go. And now we should be able to see it just a normal cannon. Uh, and again, the scatter can be different. It's really up to you what you want to do. Uh, it is, there is different ways to do this. Um, it's all about just finding the right uh, ticks and stuff like that. So it's very simple to do. Um, and nobody says it have to be such a small uh, scatter. You can make it bigger with comparators. I'm pretty sure I showed you that in a video as well, how you can do that. So go ahead and, and, and figure that out. I'm sure you'll find it somewhere in my channel. But that is basically how you do that. As you see, there was a small hole. Let me just quickly patch this up here again. As it was a small hole here, and you'll be able to go to the next small one. Uh, and of course, uh, whenever you want a new, you could just enable this one here. This one here and this one here, and then you will be able to nuke every wall again. And that was how you basically shoot without the nuking part online. So if you want to reverse scatter with this nuking, again you're going to take the second hammer off right here. You're going to take the nuke off. You're going to change the bevel, meaning these blocks right here going off. And that was three blocks I broke right there, by the way. Then you're going to place a cobblestone right here and place a trap down like that. Make sure that you can have a block there. Don't place a block, just make sure that there is a block uh, right there. So now you'll be able to reverse scatter. Let me just go ahead and do that. And of course, this right here is going to be with sand. You can disable most of the sand uh, by pressing right here. And of course, that is still going to give us 12 sand that is already in and already getting fired. But you can disable that. I'm going to show that. So right there, you see the sand falling. It did reverse up. Uh, there was a little bit of the sand. Uh, but let's go ahead and oops, let's go ahead and try that to disable that. Basically, that is kind of the one push that's pushing the sand, and just you can disable that. Or you don't even have to do the do it right there, like this, right there. Now there's no sand whatsoever coming out of the barrel. Um, so now you should be able to reverse scatter without stacking sand. And uh, let's see it right there. There you go. No sand either. That was the wet sand. That was just about it. But you can disable that as well. Uh, disable the wet sand right here. Boom, that's the wet sand. Now there's no wet sand. So whenever we shoot again, there we go. Now when we shoot this time, there's going to be no wet sand. There's going to be no compression sand, whatever, as you see right there. Perfect. No sand and reverse scatter. And we can do that up as well as we can we, we can uh, get rid of slaps. 60 blocks down, we can reverse 60 blocks, uh, 60 blocks up. Of course, you can add hammer if that's what you really need to, if you need to go a little bit higher. But other than that, this is how you reverse scatter. So if you want to change the hammer text for some reason, you always have to do it on these right here, closest to the power. So that means that one right there and the one over here. Do not, do not change any, any other text over here. This text here is completely set it for the new king. Uh, of order of entity, so don't mess with any of these ticks whatsoever. Only mess with this one right here, and as well as this one over here. And I made these repeater right here because whatever you do at this moment, you are going to enable, or you're going to change both the both the the speed of how much sand getting in down to the down to the what is called the sand compression, meaning that it will take maybe one tick less or one tick more before the sand is down in the compression. It's going to take one tick more before the second and the first hammer down goes in. So it's going to take one tick more before the actually slap us here goes in and the nuke getting in. So when you change ticks on these right here, you change everything together. Because if you do it after that one, then the order of entities is going to fuck up. So make sure that you only do it on that one right here. And if the cannon doesn't have a repeater right here, you can easily add a repeater right here. Just make sure it's closest to the power and uh, then you should be fine. And that's what, how you change the... So if you want to uh, disable all the sand on this cannon here, all you have to do right here, if you have the normal sand, that is what's falling down. That's been that, that's like this second line right here that's falling with 60 sand or something. Disable that by going right there. This right here gets to these pistons right here. And that is basically, if I can go in here, that is basically the one push right here. That's the sand right there. That is always, always going to be fired out unless you deactivate it over here like that. 
and then of course over here like that and you can change you can see the difference right here you can either do it down here or you can do it right here it doesn't really matter uh, it's just easier to access it you can do it like that boom and then add it back boom if you wanted to do that but for now just go ahead and disable it right here and right there there's going to be no sand as well if you took it down here there's going to be no sand whatsoever the wet sand is right here you need to do right that there's going to be no wet sand then so right now there's only tnt um, and of course that will be a good thing if you guys are going for something where you don't want sand. But that was just how you disable all the sand. Alright, so if you want to disable all the TNT coming out of this cannon here, it is extremely, extremely, extremely easy. All you have to do is get rid of this right here, that gets rid of the two, push hammer down over on this side. This right here gets rid of both the hammer and the nuke uh, because it's all collected like this so it's very easy to figure out. Uh, I made it right here so it's as simple as possible for you guys to, to, to figure out how you do that. Uh, but basically that is all you need to do. You have to slap slap us right here. Uh, if you want that enabled, you do want that enabled in some, time, some cases. But if you don't, go ahead and remove the, re remove the repeater or just leave the repeater in and just take it out right there. That's fine as well. After you've done that and you can shoot, there's going to be no sand. That's only going to be sand and that is ideal if you want to do something with the sand. If you want to like, get a backboard or something like that. Uh, but that is that is basically how you do that. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, right here, that was if you want to disable the sand, uh, but uh, we don't want to do that in this case right here. Um, but all in all, guys, this is how you disable all the sand in the cannon, or all the TNT, sorry, in the cannon, meaning the only thing that will come out of the barrel is the sand, and that is it. Uh, but that was just how you disabled all the TNT. So if you want to water this cannon here, um, the easiest way to do it is just stand inside the barrel right here and just smash in the water buckets all the way to the guider, all the way to the power and then of course go and take the little uh, small things now so that meaning the, the booster for the power meaning the TNT realigner in there go from the other side, break the glass if you're in, in worry that it won't affect it some servers you can't place anything when there's a ladder in front of it so just make sure you did that now let's do the hammer down, very easy, just do it like that. Make sure when it's all the way down that it's fully watered right here and it's fully watered right here. Sometimes you get uh, problems with that if you forgot to make a source right there, then it looks something like that. So just make sure that's the case right there. Now that you've done that, we have the slap bust. Again, very simple. Now this is the syncopation might be a little bit different on your screen because if you're using a higher cannon, uh, then you might have some dispensers as where the slaps is, uh, but you you can just simply water that like that, and then you should be good. Uh, other than that, then all we have left is the nuke part, and the nuke part is, should be very simple. It, again, it might look different on your screen. Don't worry, it's basically the same concept. Right here, you go and do it right there, and you do it. Let me just get up here. Do it right there, and then just two out the entire thing right here. I made it too white, so it's easy for you to water it as well. And that is basically how you water it. Uh, if you're still in doubt on how to water some of the bigger cans here, let me go up here. Uh, so let's say this right here. Uh, this is a little bit of a different nuke, uh, but it is still the same concept. Water it right there, water it right there, and then do it all the way over here. There we go. And then, of course, the two right right here, you can just smash it in. And that is how you do that. Um, so that was how you watered your cannon. Hope that, uh, that helped out a little bit.